The creation of the implant that matches the anatomy perfectly is a complete change from anything that we've seen before. We're actually putting in a knee replacement that is specifically designed not only from an instrument standpoint, but also from the implant standpoint to that person. It matches the anatomy perfectly, not only in the way it maps to the bone, but also in the way that it tensions the ligaments, that it allows the knee to bend and move in a way that is purely specific for that patient and not for anyone else. The thing that we are looking at most as we advance knee replacement, and for that matter, joint replacement surgery in general, is we want patients to ultimately forget that they have a joint replacement. The way we are able to do that is by essentially creating a stable knee that feels like their native knee. This technology and this advance, I think, is probably the biggest thing that we've seen so far that allows us to do that. There are a lot of implants out there on the market. There are a lot of implant companies who put a tremendous amount of research behind looking at different designs to recreate normal anatomy. Nothing to this point has been able to recreate exact anatomy like this really has. Even as you try and increase the number of sizes, what you're trying to do is get closer and closer to that perfect size for the patient. Even as close as you can get, you're always going to have either the side to the side, to the front, to the back. If you have a patient-specific solution, then you're really mapping that entire anatomy. So it's not just two coordinates that you're trying to match. It's really the entire anatomy all the way around. And that's what we're seeing with the conformis solution. We do not see overhang, we do not see underhang, and in fact, every area along that bone, along the cortex, is matched perfectly because it's been matched uh, prior to surgery with the imaging technology that they use. If we can set it on the greatest bone, then we are gonna have the greatest foundation and that will hold up better over time. I think as a surgeon, it's been very easy to transition to the conformist model because even though it's custom for that patient, it is still traditional type of instrumentation that we would use. Normally when we're doing an off-the-shelf implant, we do the entire surgery of bone cuts to fit and position the implants into, into place, but that's only half of the surgery. Then we go through a whole nother phase of balancing, doing dissection, doing di different releases to the ligaments that allow it to be balanced. When we eliminate that balancing step, when we eliminate the fact that we have to do dissections because the implant itself essentially is balanced at the time of the surgery, we have saved ourselves a tremendous amount of not only time in the operating room, blood loss associated with time in the operating room, but also dissection and hopefully recovery for the patient down the road.